Hey everyone, this is E Hoops coming to you from War Memorial Gym here at University of San Francisco. I know we missed you and we're all trying to stay safe and healthy while we're sheltering in place, but that doesn't mean that E Hoops has to stop. In fact, we've got a whole new video series coming out and it's called Hooping at Home. So you can do E Hoops right from your living room or your driveway or your backyard or your front yard. A special thank you and a shout out to all the families, coaches, volunteers, and kids who make E Hoops such a special place. Uh, and a special thank you to our partners with the University of San Francisco, the incredible Golden State Warriors, University High School, as well as the Town School for Boys uh, all in San Francisco. We miss you guys, but we're looking forward to having a great e-hoops at home. So check out our new video series called Hooping at Home. Looking forward to seeing you guys all soon. Hey everyone, welcome back to e-hoops Hooping at Home. My name is Danielle Tate and this is my husband Naeem Tate and we're gonna be doing some basketball drills today. Um, the USF women's basketball team and men's basketball team is also going to be helping us out today. So uh, follow along. All right. So we're going to be starting off with only indoor drills. So the only thing you need is a little bit of space and a ball. And we're going to get started with a little bit of stretching. All right. So get some space. Make sure you don't uh, elbow your neighbor. We're just going to start with uh, some arm circles, small ones, nice and tight. This work could get crazy. I'm gonna go big arm circles. All right, and then we're gonna reverse. There we go. We're in sync. Okay. Let's touch your toes. We're gonna have your legs straight. Touch your toes. If you can't, touch your shins. Can't do that. Please give me the knees. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Spread your feet a little bit. We're gonna go to the right. Try to reach for that foot. And feel the burn. All right, switch. Same thing. So again, we're gonna just need a ball right now. And we're gonna get started pretty soon. The little ball handling on the couch. My favorite. All right. All right. So, everyone, if you could just grab a ball, we're gonna sit down, couch, chair, whatever it is, and we're just going to mimic like we're dribbling. So this is something you could do pretty much any time, any place. Most people can't dribble in the house. I get in trouble personally, so I can't roll it. And this. All these moves we're doing will be things that will translate once we go outside later on, all right? Now I'll go in front. I'm just going to roll it in front, almost like a windshield wiper, just going back and forth in front of me. So this should feel pretty easy because we're only rolling it. But one day, we're going to be dribbling it. Switch. And all this is doing is giving our body some muscle memory. So once we're bouncing it, it'll feel a little more natural. All right, we're gonna go under the leg. Same thing, sitting down, just rolling it back and forth. Thinking about the gifts we just got. I got some new shoes. I would sing the new shoe song, but could get copyrighted, so I won't sing it. Switch. Ooh, what else did I get? Pork chops for dinner. Have pork chops and broccoli, because vegetables are important. Oh yeah. All right. And that's it for ball handling. Oh, I almost forgot. One more thing. So this isn't dribbling, but it will speed up our hands. So we're gonna tap the ball in our hands back and forth, just like this. Try to use your fingertips. So we don't wanna catch it, just the fingertips. Now we're gonna put our arms out further out you go, the harder it is. 
So I have my elbows locked. And when you lock your elbows, it's harder and it's a little bit painful, but it's okay. I'll go over my head, same thing. All fingertips, no catching. Back in front. And down, this one's even harder. This gravity's pulling the ball down and then I dropped it. Let me start again. Fingertips. Oh yeah. All right, over the head one more time. Now we're done with ball handling. So we're gonna do a little game everyone should know. It's called red light, green light. The way it works is we're gonna be in defensive stance. Well, we, won't, we won't need a ball anymore. Just put that down. And Coach Danielle will be on the side telling me whether I should be going full speed, which is a green light, going in slow motion, that's a yellow light, or stopping, which is red, okay? So we're all gonna start defensive stance. Hopefully you have a little bit of space and we're gonna listen out for Coach Danielle. Green light. Green light. So we're going full speed on defense. Yellow light. Slow motion. Green light. I know a few people that play red light. Defense in slow motion. Green light. They're always yellow light. Yellow light. Green light. <clears throat> oh yeah. It's not right in the house. It's sliding in the house. Yellow light. It's illegal. Red light. Oh, got me a little yep. bit. Green light. It's talking too much. But hey, if you get told it's no red, red in the light. house. Yellow light. We're not running. Make sure we're pushing off too. Green light. Who's tired? I am. Green light. Trying to make me stop. I didn't. Red light. Yellow Ooh. light. <sighs> okay, that's it. Whew. We're gonna go one more round. If you're tired, give me a thumbs up. Cause I am. We're gonna go one more time. And then we're gonna have a little trivia for us. I'm back. Yellow light. Slow motion. Red light. Green light. Yellow light. Back to slow motion. Red light. Green light. Make sure we're not cheating it, everybody. A slow motion hurts more than a green light. Yellow light. Which is why we're doing it again. Red light, green light. Yellow light. Slow motion. Green light. Okay, that's it. Whew. I'm tired. Good job. But it's okay to be tired. Right now, you can get yourself some water. We're gonna get ready to head outside, all right? So um, we got a little trivia, and I'll pass it to Coach Danielle. Okay, before, before we head out, I have some trivia questions for you. The first one is, who had the most points during an NBA Christmas game? All right, put your thinking caps on. Is it A, Wilt Chamberlain, B, Bernard King, C, Jerry West, or D, Tracy McGrady? Mm. Tracy. Was his nickname Tea Time? Something like that. Tea Time, I think. Yeah. Like All Mike, right. Something like that. I'll give you a couple more seconds. The correct answer is Bernard King. Mm. You know what team he was on? The New York Knicks. Mm. Uh-huh. Knicks, I remember they used to be good. 
<laughs> they still are. I have hope. I have a lot of hope. All right, next question. Who had the most rebounds during an NBA Christmas game? Is it Bill Russell or Wilt Chamberlain? Mm. Bonus points. Who knows what college Bill Russell went to? I don't know. But how many rebounds did he get? Uh, who had the most rebounds in the NBA Christmas game? The answer is USF. What's the answer? The answer, Will Chamberlain. But we love Bill. We love Bill. He went to <laughs> USF. Well, that's all we have for our trivia, and we will meet you outside. All right. What's going on, E Hoops? Coach Tyler here. We're going to go over some shooting basics while we're out here, hopefully with a rim, but you can do this if you don't have one. So, the four letter acronym of BEEF is what we're gonna be using today. Letter B, we're gonna start off with balance. You always want a balanced stance. You shouldn't be able to knock over, you shouldn't be leaning on one side, leaning too far forward, leaning too far back. Be about shoulder width apart, you're bending down. B for balance. Next one is we've got elbows. So your elbow when you're shooting is gonna be three 90 degree angles. 190 degree angle here, 190 degree angle here, and I think just two actually, unless you want to get geometrical. So two 90 degree angles, you're placing the ball right there on top. That's elbows. Third letter, second E, eyes. Your eyes want to always be at the rim. You don't want to be looking at your shoes. You don't want to be looking over there. You don't want to be looking at another coach. Always want to be eyes on the rim. And then when we put it all together, balance, elbow, eye, we're going to launch the ball up, and that's our follow through. Follow through. And when we're following through, we're holding, I missed, but we're holding our wrist just as if you're trying to get a little cookie out of the cookie jar on top of your parents' fridge. That's exactly what we want to do. So balance, elbows, eyes, follow through. Should look a little something like that. All right. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna have two of the ladies from the USF women's team show us another drill that we can do. Hi, my name is Kia. I'm a junior and I'm a guard and I'm from Finland. Hi, my name is Maria. I'm a junior, I'm a guard and I'm from Croatia. Uh, the most memorable basketball game where we played is the game in James Chase Center against Stanford. Against Stanford. For the last station of the day, we are playing a shooting game called plus one minus one. <laughs> For this game, you need a ball and a partner. You guys are gonna shoot at three spots: two wings and the top of the key. Every basket is worth one point. If you make the basket, it's plus one. If you miss it, it's minus one. The goal is to get to plus three and you lose if you end up with minus three. Now we are gonna show you how to play the game. And it's it's okay if you don't win every spot, we're here to learn. She made it, so it's plus one. Two, three, next spot. Hope you had a fun day at E Hoops. We love seeing you guys here. Go, Go Dons! All right, everybody, that was amazing. Thank you so much to those two ladies. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna hop into plus one, minus one. So again, to reiterate, what we're gonna do is we're starting at zero. When you shoot, if you make it, that's plus one. If you miss, it's minus one. The game ends if you get to three or negative three. We'll see how I do. Oh, 
Back to two. Let's put it away. Oh, back at one. Keep my head held high because I gave it my best. I put a beef to practice and made a couple shots. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna pass it over to another one of our coaches from USF. Let's see what Manny has to say. What's up? My name is Manny. I'm a senior guard and I'm from San Francisco, California. Today, we're gonna be doing dribbling ball handling. So first, we're gonna start off with our right hand. And we're just gonna pound it for about 15 seconds or so. So we're gonna go one, two, all the way to 15. And while you're dribbling, keep your head up. You can look at your neighbor. You can ask them questions. Ask them what their favorite team is. My favorite team is the Lakers, because LeBron James, you know? Just won the championship. And by the time you're ta done talking about that, switch to your left hand. And same thing. Keep dribbling. Keep your head up. Talk to your other neighbor. Ask them a question. What's your favorite subject? Mine is Matt. And by the time you finish that, you can go to the next thing. And after this, we're going crossovers, just back and forth like this. So keep going, make sure your head is always up. You can talk to the person next to you again, or you can just look, look around, count to 10. And the whole point of this drill is just to make sure your head is up and you're not looking down at the ball. And soon in five, four, three, two, one. All right, next, we're just gonna swing it, we're gonna go in and out, just like this. I'll start slow. You don't have to rush it, take your time. And then eventually when you get the hang of it, you can start to speed it up a little bit. And we're gonna go for about 10, 15 seconds again. Yeah. Here we go. You can talk about life again, anything you want. Just make sure that you're not looking down at the ball. Because if you're looking down, someone can come behind you and steal the ball. So your head being up, let's just see the floor. Let's see the court, work on your guard skills. You can put your hand here to get ready. Now we can switch. 10 to 15 more seconds again with the left hand. Start slow, and then speed it up. Keep your head up, look around. The person in front of you can hold their hands up. More fingers, three fingers. Keep looking at me. Two fingers, five, four, three, two, one. Now you got handles like Steph Curry. Awesome, thank you Coach Manny. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna do a little bit more ball handling outside. All you need is a ball, a little bit of space around you. What we're gonna start off with is our right hand. This is my right hand. It might be different because of the way it's being filmed, but this is my right hand. We're gonna get back into that nice balanced position. We're just gonna do high, dribbles high dribbles should be if your knees are bent a little bit it should be right about where your shoulders are so we're gonna go high dribbles for a bit all right then we're gonna switch over to our left hand same thing high dribbles if you want to dribble it hard that's better but you want to stay in control at all times high dribbles then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to our waist level, down to the waist level. Ready, right hand. Again, staying in control at all times, using our fingertips like we learned earlier. And then we'll switch to left hand. Same thing, keep your eyes up so you can see what's going on around you. Oops, I almost lost it there. And then we're gonna go even lower to about knee height, knee height. Right hand, ready, go. You can dribble a little quicker now. You don't wanna get caught using your palms. Always fingertips, switch. All right, 
And then now we're gonna go as low as you possibly can. I like to call this ankles. We're going right hand, ready, set, go. As low as you can. Switch, whoa, I lost it. Left hand, I'm not as good as this one. Try to keep your eyes up. All right, and now we're gonna put it together. So we're gonna switch right hand to left hand. This is known as a crossover. All right, you can watch some of your favorite NBA players do this or WNBA players. What we're gonna do is we're gonna switch right to left and we're just gonna be nice and high. Remember to stay in control, eyes up. When you're ready, down to hip height, waist height. And we're gonna go even lower knees. And here's the one that I'm not so good at. Ankles. That's a burn, that's a burn. So you can keep practicing these different levels by changing levels, you can ultimately get a lot more control in your ball handling. Hey everybody, so we're gonna have one more drill from one of my friends, Reggie Hearn. He played in the G League last year uh, and he's gonna be doing something a little bit challenging with his wife. So for this drill, you're gonna need two basketballs and a partner. So I'm gonna pass it over to Reggie and he's gonna explain. All right guys, for your last drills today, for the last five minutes, we're gonna work on two ball passing with a partner. The first one we're gonna do, with my lovely wife Gianna, in the background, is we're gonna be standing on each lane line, one of us on this lane line, one on the other. Is G will do chest passes. I will do bounce passes back and forth. We're gonna pass at the same time. So when I say go, G's gonna pass a chest pass to me, I'm going to do a bounce pass to her. And as we get the hang of it, we're going to go faster and faster and faster and faster. Here we go. One person has chest pads, other person has bounce pads. Go. Hope you guys enjoyed your session for today and we'll see you next time. All right, so now I have Coach Danielle with me. We're gonna be passing. Rule one, make sure you know who's bounce passing and who's chest passing, because it could get a little dangerous. But uh, if you drop it, it's all right. We're gonna pick it back up and try again. All right. So we're gonna make sure we start off slow. Nice and slow start. I'm bounce passing, all right? You're the chest pass, ready, go. All right, we're gonna speed it up a little bit. Make sure the chest pass is high. Who's scared? I'm not that scared. I'm not terrified. Okay, stop. We're gonna kick it up another notch. A little bit faster. And I probably won't look this way. <laughs> it's coming in hot. Ready? <laughs> Well, stuff happens, but we went for a while. It was fun, everybody. I wanna wish everyone a happy holidays, and we'll see you guys next time on eHoops on Zoom. But uh, have a good day. Bye, everyone.